What's going on, uh, good people? This is D Train. I um, uh, I had to. I was helping my mother, and um, we were clearing out this yard, and there's this tractor there that needs to be moved. So I uh, went on this mission to try to figure out how I can move it because it's kind of seized up. Nothing is moving on it. Um, plug the battery in, the light will come on, but it won't even turn, so I, I'm tasked with how to figure out how to get this thing out of there. So I have a dump truck, I have a trailer, uh, but I was trying to figure out, I'm not a tow person, so I asked my guy, and he told me to get a 2,500 uh, pound tow uh, winch, so I went to the Harbor Freight with my two daughters I'm standing there looking at all the ones actually he didn't tell me this at the time so I didn't know which power or how it hooks up I didn't go on YouTube evidently anyway so I got this 2500 pound capacity ATV utility winch so I'm gonna open this bad boy up and see what's in here I'm probably gonna have to do something funny with the camera so just stay tuned and we'll see what see what's in the box and uh go from there. Okay, so here's the uh here's the product. What is it? Badland winches. Cool. Twenty five hundred. Uh let's see, single stage planetary gear system. Oh I do this. You know, magnet motor draw less current ideal for ATV flow. So what does it say? Power in out for positive load control. 532 inch by 50 foot aircraft grade wire rope 50 feet. Feet. I think that should do it. Free spooling. Okay, permanent magnet. Okay, roller fairly. Uh, six foot battery cables for convenient installation. That's good. Okay. So mounting bolts. Two inch. Okay. These are just some of the specs. Item number six one eight four zero. Okay, so I got the twenty five hundred. So, uh, all right, all right. So cool. Let's open this bad boy up and see what's in here. All right. Okay, you got the manual. Gonna have to probably look at that at some point. I just hate to, you know, buy something and then have to figure it, you know, figure out if that's what I need or not. Just wanna, oh, okay, wow, look at all these. Okay, here's stuff. There's stuff in here. So, so I guess you'd hook one to the negative terminal and this goes to the positive. So that's the hot. The black is the, uh, Brown and this it's getting the light man press the on off button for three seconds until LED to disable press off button for three seconds to disable it should have like an automatic shut off okay so it has a remote so you don't have to stand right next to it. Okay. Huh. All right. Cool. Well, my homeboy, he's gonna, he knows how to do all of this. I guess I'm gonna have to attach this so that the wire comes through properly. Um, this is the motor. I mean, this is the um, power supply. 
got a bunch of screws and that. All right, let's move this box out the way. Might need it later. Okay, so they got your red, so you know where the positive is, and you got your other side. I guess that's that's good. Then you can mount this on something if you need to. You hook this. I guess I'm gonna have to read the instructions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dog. Okay, so this goes to the negative. All right, here we go. Yeah, see, they do this for me. All right, the dumb, the dumbass D train. Hey, you're gonna have to label that shit for him, dude. Yeah, that goes there. All right. Oh, and this, okay, so this goes to the negative part of the winch, so, I mean the positive, which is red, like on a battery, you know, don't think because it's red, it's negative, no, red is positive, and then, these parts, I guess you have to either have a battery kind of close, and on that dump truck, it's kind of far, I may have to extend it, but, these go to the battery so you can either have a battery there which we will because I have a battery in the actual uh, truck uh, uh, I'm sorry uh, tractor uh, so there will be power there but if not you can also hook it Hey ladies and gentlemen, this is D-Train, handyman, handy Mr. Howard. I uh, had to take that other winch in because it was an ATV winch and it didn't, uh, it couldn't hook the way I needed it to, where I needed it to, uh, to hook. And, you know, this one has a few more things that I can, uh, I can do with it, you know. Uh, especially with all the stuff that I do you know with the heavy stuff that I deal with um, I tell you what man I've already used it to uh, grab a, a, a tractor out of the yard um, it had been sitting there um, for a while and we didn't know if it'll start so we just brought the uh, necessary equipment here but uh, I'll tell you about that in another video this uh, marine winch, I think, I think it's called. Okay, so it can put. It's uh, it's, it works off of a battery, off your uh, like a car battery. Um, four and a half feet per second, no load. Dead pull, two thousand pounds. Marine pull, like if you're pulling a boat, five thousand pounds. Rolling something, rolling six thousand pounds. This thing was rolling. This tractor was rolling, but it had a bad tire, so it wasn't rolling very good. Uh. Drum diameter, one inch by three and an eighth inch. Gear system, three stage, straight. Gear drive cable is a three sixteenths inch by thirty feet. So you got you got some 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 space to do something with. It was on a dump truck, so I had to use another truck, uh, another battery, because uh, the battery for the dump truck is a little bit too far. Um, but. We got it done. So let's get into it. You want to hold the camera while I do this, baby? Yeah. This is my lovely assistant, Daniela. And this is my uh, my lovely baby, Juliana. She's probably going to hop in at some point. Okay, first of all, I want to show you guys this, um, this stuff right here. All right, so this is the, uh, the remote uh, engager. I think can you see this part too? Let's go back so you can see both. Okay, move back just a little bit so you can see both. It's uh, so you can stand back. You're able to stand back uh, when you're doing. This goes into this uh, machine here. So you, 
you can stand back uh, 10 feet. This thing is, um, and this is 30 feet. This hooks onto the battery. The red is the positive, the black is the ground, of course, and this hooks into this machine also to power it. So let's get into it. Let's box the, unbox this thing. How are we doing on the camera, baby? I know yeah. you're doing an excellent job. As you can see, oh, maybe I shouldn't just throw my stuff around. Put that up there. Oh, this thing's got some weight. How much does it say it weighs? I don't see any specs. But it's got some weight, so that's kind of a good thing. Okay, so it's a 20 foot battery cable with clamps, handheld remote 10 feet. Uh, the wire is 30 feet, okay. All right, let's get this thing out of here. Mm -hmm. It's got some weight on it. <laughs> oh boy. Alright. Yeah. You know the guy that was working with me on that thing, he's bigger than I am. He made it look easy when he was pulling this thing around and just doing what he was doing. I was like, oh yeah, that's cool. I can do that. Well I can, but it's gonna take a little little a couple more grunts. <laughs> okay, what do we have here? We got the handle. You can do it manually if you want to crank it. Okay? It goes here. It goes in here. It fits in there. And then you can crank it. Or you can hook this red and black wire Dring. to One of them's a male and one of them's a female, so you'll know which one goes where. This is the female, so it's going to go to the male over here. And there's a notch right there that shows you exactly how it's supposed to go in. Boom. That's done. Then you get your clicker. This clicker right here goes, this is the male, so it's going to go into the female over here. And again, it has a notch. You can see a notch right there. It fits into that notch right there, that groove. And boom, you're ready to rock and roll. All you got to do is hook these to the battery. You know, pull this. That's another thing I forgot. So I'm going to undo this so that I can show you another thing, okay? You okay? Yeah. All right. All right. So you're gonna have to pull this out so that you can take it to the thing that you're gonna pull, right? This bolt needs to be uh, loosened so that you can loosen it up so that you can pull this out. I'm gonna check the. Um, I think it said three sixteenths. No, no, it can't be three sixteenths. That's too big. Um. Okay, yeah. Alright, so I went and looked it up. Actually, I didn't look it up because it didn't have it. I don't think it had it in the book. But this uh, is a... Come on in here. Let's show the people what size this is. This is a three-quarter inch. Okay. Socket. So, it fits on there. You un... Hold on, is that Lefty Lucy? Yeah, that's Lefty Lucy. You unscrew that. I mean, norm, typically you would do that if it was too tight. You don't want to cut, do it too tight because this is plastic. So you loosen that up. Hold on, it's got two. So you got to loosen this one in. Then you can. Mm. Okay, so you gotta, you kind of have to tighten it to loosen it. You know what I mean? You gotta loosen it up this way. Oh. I'm gonna 
gonna figure this thing out before it's all said and done. Shake. Yeah, I pulled it a little bit too far in. This can fit in there, but you gotta kind of have to do it right. I didn't see you. You know, boom. Well, anyway, just gotta mess around with this, and you'll see how it, one way or the other is gonna engage it, and the other way is gonna disengage it. All right. Hook that up, boom, bing, bang, boom. Anyway, it worked. It worked well. I would get one if you need to do some pulling of some heavy stuff, like, you know, branches. I'm gonna have to pull a branch. When a branch fell off the tree, <coughs> I'm gonna have to pull a, a, a bush hog onto a, a, a trailer. I can use it for that, you know. I. It's good to, to to hang out with people who know how to do stuff because you learn some stuff, and I and I appreciate Rod for showing me how to do that. You're sweating. Shout out yeah. to Rod. Shout outs to Rod and his son. They helped me uh, lift some stuff and, and 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 fix some stuff and get that tractor on the thing. Anyway, I'm going to sign off. This is going longer. Um, and I'm going to show some pictures and some video of this thing in work, kind of. Because when you're working with someone, you don't want to be videoing because it's like, come on, man, we're trying to get this done. All right. It's my turn. It's okay. It's time for the get in the. Hey, say, put that camera down and get to work, man. You know what I mean? But I did. I got as much video and as many pictures as I could. So. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Roll the tape. Can I see it? Like, show me. Me too. Oh, hey, baby. Ah. Miss my camera with lady. <laughs> All right. This is D-Train. Thank y'all. Peace out. Here's one more thing, ladies and gentlemen, I forgot to tell you about this, which is very uh, crucial. Uh, you don't want to forget this thing because this thing is what anchors it to either your ball like you can put this over your ball on the back of your truck right and it fits it snaps on here you can see the bottom it goes perfectly bing bang boom it's ready so what we did is we took um, a chain a smaller chain we hooked it around this part right here on the trailer and um, tied it so it wouldn't come loose and this pulled the, uh, the tractor so yeah definitely don't want to forget that part sorry about that but thank you for tuning back in and I need to say something the box that it came in you it could be useful for if you have Barbie dolls you can make it a pool uh, or I can put this back in there until I need it again so that I have all my stuff together. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. But yeah, that's a good idea. I'll look into that. Anyway, cut it now. Thank you. Oh boy, okay. I got my, uh, before I forget or before I can't. Do uh, show anything. This is hooked up to my uh, black and white, uh, black and red here. Shouldn't be getting wet, but you 
Anyway, it's hooked up to here. So I was saying that is hooked up to that big ass heavy thing right there. And it is heavy. I'm standing on the other side of this thing so I don't get popped. Also, I was kind of helping it along trying to get it up there. So this is the, this is the uh, rest of the way. I stopped it here because I wanted to kind of be over the center of my wheels a little bit. Um, I might have to do it a little bit more just a hair. I don't want to be in front of that thing on thing, man. You never know. Alright. Sorry you guys. I'm kind of working just off of uh you know just winging it so anyway it's on time to go i just wanted to show you guys how it worked and um you know see it in action but uh, i got most of the hard heavy lifting trying to get it up off the ground the hair over there so you know you didn't want to see all that y'all don't want to see a whole bunch of hard work you know me sweating you know, beading up and whatnot. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'm gonna take this shit apart and then uh, get on the road. It's raining. It's not good for this thing to be wet. Peace out.